Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so, what a day! <laughs>
tolerating divisiveness. So there's a fine line between those two terms, but division being natural, but divisiveness as something that we do not want to tolerate. Um, the role of the state, ultimately, if we talk about liberalism, I think a true liberal would try to appreciate the role of the state but how do we balance that to ensure that the state does not have all the powers that exist that will ultimately dictate the fine movements and the fine maneuverings of your own individual lives? If the state begins to control how we think, how we act, how we behave every second of the day, that borders on moral policing 24-7 and whether that is something that we can accept I think my own takeaway from today's conference is that there is a lot of middle ground that we should try to strive to achieve for and that in fact already do exist. Perhaps the problem lies in terminology, but is that then the responsibility of those who believe in these ideals to educate? Perhaps where we talk about education in school, can we free the minds of our, even our educators to ensure that students as young as in primary school and kindergartens can debate? Do we have that confidence? Do we have that security in our identities to be able to introduce free speech among our young? And what would that look like? What would primary school students as young as the age of seven, what would that look like if we were to encourage them to recognize differences, but be able to talk about it and discuss it, and hopefully in the future, you know, they become the future conveners of such conferences. I hope, you know, my daughter, for example, would be able to do this in the future. <laughs> um, so I like to just end by saying that I really like um, the idea of widening the middle ground. I think this is a concept that um, that really needs to be thought about more and more. And let me also say why, if we don't do this, what happens in society? If we don't widen the middle ground, there's a danger that the extremes on both ends grow larger and larger, and it's no longer the normal curve, right, that you see, but you actually have the peaks on both ends. Uh, those of you who appreciate maths will, <laughs> will like this, but my point is this. Um, we have a lot that we are achieving already. Let's not lose hold of that. And we must be able to capture this, whatever this spirit is, whether it's in the form of liberalism, whether it's in the form of cosmopolitanism. Because if we don't do that, we run the risk of losing what it is that we already share so much in common. So with that, um, friends, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming here today. We will have an election soon. Um, who knows? My bet is still on next year. Uh, I may be wrong. But whatever it is, over the next few months, uh, it is really important that people who are, I would say, those in the room or who are following us and ideas and the work we do are the so-called enlightened crowd, right? Not to say by any means that we are the elite, we are not. Um, but we have the privilege of sitting here, we have the privilege of sharing our opinions and thoughts, and the fact that we, I think even in the room, have such a diversity of opinions, this means that we have captured the right zeitgeist of Malaysia. So, in, and if we can do that, and if we can do this safely in this space, we need to be able to replicate that especially as election comes where debates become more polarized, we need to be able to remember what brings us together more than what divides us. So with that, thank you so much. Have a great weekend and see you next year. Thank you, Dr. Trisha. Today's event is coming to a close. On behalf of Ideas Malaysia, we would like to express our sincere appreciation and heartfelt gratitude to all our contributors and participants in making today's event a success. We would also like to, to take this opportunity to express our great appreciation to NF, FNF for supporting this event.
For parting ways, I am pleased to invite everyone for refreshments at the foyer. And we thank you greatly for your participation and we look forward to meeting you in the EAT Liberalism Conference next year. We would also like to invite all of you to our upcoming webinar on 27th of September where we will launch our report titled Left Far Behind the Impact of COVID-19 on Access to Education and Healthcare for Refugee and Asylum-Seeking Children in Peninsula Malaysia in collaboration with UNICEF and also European Union. So this will be hosted via Zoom and we look forward to having your participation. Thank you and have a great Saturday.